Angelina, you the cool in my temperature. If you call, I go come deliver. I no go fall in your hand in never. Hey, you guys. Okay, so first things first, you need some gods to be to uh, brush off your hair away. Um, like that, once you bleach your knots, it's not going to bleach the actual hair. It's actually going to protect the hair from getting bleached. So you want to put a lot of gods to be. It doesn't matter how much you put because at the end of the day, um, we're going to deep condition the hair so um, all the you know got to be residue is gonna come off but you definitely want to do that because you want to protect your hair from getting bleached and you don't want to like you know fuck up the color excuse my language honestly this hair you guys is so cute I had so much compliments I cannot wait for you guys to see the install I was so proud of myself chill okay well, that's right stop playing with them Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and bleach my knots. I use the 40 developer and the BW um, powder bleach. I mean bleach powder. Sorry about that. And um, for this part, I did go section by section. So I didn't put a lot in my cup. But um, usually you want to add, you know, enough. And um, the reason why I went like section by section is because I didn't want to like just waste my bleach. So if you don't want to waste your bleach, just, you know bleach your lace like section by section and basically honestly like you don't want it to be too liquid and too um thick like you just want it to be in between the middle and um you'll know like it's as if you were doing pancakes honestly <laughs> like you'll know the consistency has to be like the right consistency so yeah and then i went ahead and i applied it on my lace um, I do apply a lot, you know what I'm saying, um, because when you bleach your knots, it makes such a big difference on the outcome of your hair. This is, like, such an important step when you want to do your wigs, unless you have, like, you know, like a 613 or, like, you know, blonde hair or whatever, that you wouldn't have to bleach your knots, but, um bleaching your knots on like this type of color hair even black hair is so important you guys so do not ever skip that step and it is so easy to do it yourself honestly i honestly love it also i wanted to add make sure that you guys use um i don't know like a face mask or something because the smell is so intense like my nose kept on running and it was just so freaking annoying because it just has like a like a hard smell you know so you want to make sure you have an open window next to you and, and like don't inhale it too much because that's not good so yeah make sure you guys use my code angelina4 for four percent off of your niece hair i know that's right and yeah i wish i would have showed you guys how i plucked my wig but maybe in another video or something i'm sorry by the way, if you're not subscribed, um, sis, what is you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I don't ask why. Okay, so after leaving the hair bleach for 15 minutes, I go ahead and I rinse off the bleach with some cold water. You want to make sure you use cold water. When you use a lot of hot water on here, it does damage hair. Especially this is colored hair, so you want to use as much, um, you know, cold water for sure. And also, it's not like there was, like, you know, residue of glue or anything. Like, the wig was brand new, so, yeah. And yeah, it looks so cute. Huh? And what I love about those wigs is that they come pre-plucked. I did, you know, do a little, a little bit more plucking, but it really wasn't that bad, to be honest. And also for colored hair, there was little to no shedding. I also used the Aussie uh, conditioner. Aussie is like super duper cheap, so that. And it's also a very good conditioner, which I also use for my natural hair, so yeah i use it i apply it all over the wig okay everywhere there needs to be moisture every single wear say it with me i know that's right period 
so um yeah just make sure to put conditioner everywhere from the bottom to the top every single wear oh the knots look so good oh my god okay so after that i put the hair in a plastic bag and i left it in for 24 hours to really lock in that moisture here we go So the hair that I'm going to be working with today is Uni's. Um, they had like a Black Friday sale or something, so I decided to take advantage of that sale. And um, good. This wig comes with a gift bag. Um, so cute. And it comes with a silk scarf with a wig cap. Um, with some nail wraps, which I'm not going to use, but it's quarantine, so people might use that. And it also comes with some lashes. And the wig that I'm going to be applying is the famous highlight wig that everybody has been wearing. Um, it honestly came with a smell, and I cleaned the wig, and I mean, it smells better now, but it's, I don't know, there's still, a, there's still a smell to it, but I'm going to use, um some products and stuff like that so you know we're gonna make that smell disappear I took a 16 inch this is 150 density and um, it's a 13 by 4 I'm going to be putting some curls into it which is why I took it short because I just want a cute little you know bouncy curls with it and um, it did come pre-plucked but I plucked the wig a lot more to have that natural look Especially because it's a highlight wig. When you buy a wig that's like colored, you want to make sure that you apply it really, really well. Because it's going to look, it's not going to look good if it's not well put on. Okay. So yeah, let's just get into this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Press that bell to be notified every single time I post. And yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so the first things first I'm going to do is I'm going to be wetting my edges. And I'm just going to be putting them away from my face so that they could stay under the wig cap securely. So I just comb them and make sure that they're really, you know, in the back. Especially when you wear front so shit. Okay, okay. Mm. Now I'm going to be using some Gossipy hairspray. And I'm going to be doing the bald cap method. So basically what I do is I do one layer and then I, um blow dry it and then I do another layer so basically I do three layers in total to make sure that it's really that you know bald cap shape I'm still trying to perfect it I'm not there yet but this is what I do and you want to make sure that once you blow dry it you um go on the cool setting that's what I do Also, when you do the bald cap method, you want to make sure that you focus the spray like the most like on the the side of your ears because that's the part of where it tends to like not glue the best. So that's why I always put like the most gots to be a spray. And um yeah. Okay, so the next step is to actually cut, you know, the pieces. So you want to start with your ears and um, just do a little hole on the sides of your ears and then you just cut. You want to make sure that you're careful when you do that because you do not want to cut yourself. Obviously, me, it's fast forwarded, but I did, you know, take my time. However, I did fuck up the sides. Um, I should have let it, you know dry it a little bit more if it would have dried it a little bit more it would have sticked on that side but the other side was perfect 
but we still were able to work with that. So after that, what I'm going to do once I'm done cutting like the pieces, I'm going to go back with my gods to be and just make sure that everything is like really, you know, laid down and stuff. So what I do is I'm going to be putting some gods to be and I'm going to take my rat tail comb just to make sure that it's melted as much as possible. That's kind of like an important step because you really want to make sure that it's glued down to your forehead like. When it's really well glued, you're going to feel it, you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my powder. I use the Maybelline powder. Um, I don't know what shade that is. I'll probably put it on the screen or something. But I just put that on my wig cap, in the front of my wig cap, just to make sure that it blends in, you know, with my skin. And so that it can look as natural as possible when you do apply your wig. And then I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to make sure that if there's any oils or residue of glue or anything, it's just going to, you know, come off like that. It's going to be better once you're going to glue your wig. It's going to really stick to your skin. This is a very important step when you apply your wig, guys. Makes sense, not Okay, now I'm going to be cutting the lace in the back of the wig. That's super important, Jess. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be forgetting, but do it before applying your wig, okay? And then I'm just going to be putting the wig on. And obviously right now it kind of looks tangled. It's because, you know, um, the wig was cleaned and everything. I didn't blow dry it. I just let it air dry, so. Yeah. And now I'm just putting the wig on just to be able to, like, measure it, make sure that you know it's well plugged everything is okay before I do go on and um, glue it and then the glue that I'm going to be using is my gold spawn glue this is like one of the best glues to me I've yet to try another one so yeah and then I'm just gonna be using a wood stick to apply it I honestly advice to use a wood stick i don't know how you i mean i don't know how people be using rat tail combs to me it just gets so messy so that's why i rather just use a wood stick to apply it and um i'm going to be applying three layers i think i usually go with three layers but when i don't be going out like that i just do two layers but if you know you're gonna go out and do a lot of things and you want to have it for long i would advise to use three layers and you want to make sure that you blow dry it on the cool setting so to know when to go on and apply another layer is once you see that after blow drying you do not see the white anymore once the glue is not white no more that's when you can apply another layer so I do make sure that when I glue my wigs I go section by section I do find it's an easy step especially if you're a beginner like honestly going section by section is going to be so much more easier for you when you apply your wig I think for this install I only did two layers of glue which you know it did last at least like over a week so it was good you want to make sure that at that part when it's time to actually lay down your lace that you really look properly in the mirror to make sure that it's well centered and I use my rat tail comb just to um, you know make sure that it lays properly and you want to make sure that you don't press too hard because if you press too hard the glue will go will seep into the lace and it's not gonna look cute okay Makes sense, not deep,
Okay, so next step, I went ahead and applied my silk scarf on for at least 10 minutes to make sure that it melts. And then now, after 10 minutes, I remove it. And then we're going to be cutting the lace off. So to do that, I use a razor blade and I go section by section. I learned this trick from Aaliyah J. So you're just going to cut some parts with your scissors. And it's extremely, I mean, honestly, I really advise to cut your lace with, um, a razor blade because with scissors it's just going to cut straight as for with a razor blade it's not gonna be cutting straight so it's gonna be looking more natural because nobody got a straight hairline you know what I'm saying so and you want to make sure that you're careful when you do that you do not want to cut yourself and I know that the lace looks kind of bright right now I mean I do have a ring light but it kind of looks a little bit bright but we are going to be Fixing that later on. You honestly need a lot of patience to be doing this job because it dead be taking so much time. Okay, so the next step is the baby hair. So I'm going to be pulling out all of the baby hair. You want to take just a little bit, you know, not too much. I'm pulling all of them out. It really depends on how you want to style them, but the less baby hair, the more natural it's going to look like. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be fixing the side. The sides always like to stick up too, so you always have to go back with some glue sometimes. Okay, so this next step is to melt your lace. You're going to use some God's to be. And um, you want to do that before actually doing your baby hair. So you want to do that. Put it all over your lace. And then you're going to use this hairband. I use this black hairband. And I put it on my lace. And this is going to help to melt your lace, guys. Oh, my God. It's really going to melt. Okay. And it's going to look so good. I know that's right. 
And you want to leave it on for quite a long time because you really want it to melt, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to be using some heat protecting. I was going to curl my hair gel, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted to. So I curled it off camera. You guys will see the final result at the end. But now I'm just removing my headband, as you guys will see. Okay, the length is that thin. I don't know. my okay. Uh, oh, look at that. Period. I know it kind of look, um, you know, light and stuff, but that we're going to fix it after. So now for my baby hair, I use a razor blade. And do not use scissors, guys. Use a razor blade to cut off your baby hair. I don't know. That's right. And I do them as short as possible because the shorter it is, the more natural it is. Because anybody got long ass baby hair, okay? Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and center my hair. I honestly be all over the place. Okay, it always turns out great. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna center my baby hair and I'm going to be applying some mousse for the flyaways. I do not have a wax stick as of yet, so I just use a little bit of mousse to um just lay down the flyaways. And I also do use my hot comb to make sure that it does stay in place. I love this hot comb so much, you guys. I bought it on Amazon. Strongly recommend it. Honestly, one of the best hot combs there is. It's just so bomb. And this hair was so silky, you guys. Like, this hair was so bouncy, so silky do not mind the curls right now they do not look cute but you guys will see so now i just went back to um you know just cutting off my baby hairs okay so honestly when it comes to doing my baby hairs i just um use some hair mousse I used to use some gel to lay them but I heard from Neek that it's better to use some hair mousse and it does really do the trick it does lay down perfectly <coughs> sorry okay so um, that's just what I do you want to make sure that you cut your baby hair for them not to be too long I kept on going back and cutting them you know it's really like how you want them to be there's no perfect baby hair looks. It's just how you want it to be. I always style my baby hairs differently. It always changes. Makes sense, not the ganga. Honestly, doing my baby hair is the part that I hate the most because it'd be taking so much time. I always go back and fix and fix and go back and it's just like, all right, girl, get over it, okay? Chill. Okay, so once I was done with my baby hair, I just went back and, you know, fixed the places where there was a little bit too much lace and everything. But here's my favorite part. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some um, concealer for my middle part. Um, I do find this part very important, so I always put concealer, whether you're doing a middle part or a side part. You want to put it on your section. And I'm going to be using that same powder that I used for my bald cap method. I'm going to be using it to put all over my lace so that the lace does not have to look as light. And it did honestly do the trick. Depending on the hairstyle, sometimes I use a powder. My color, I'm going to go with a bronzer. But for this one, I did use my um, powder foundation, which worked perfectly. It really did blend and see through my skin you guys will see the final result but anyways i love you guys subscribe to the channel and i will show you the final result right now i know that's right bye see y'all soon